Hi guys and welcome back to my- oh my god I feel like I'm blushing. Am I blushing? Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a video that I've gotten requested that I thought I would finally film and, and talk about and I don't really have any like set list of things I want to say other than I want to talk about my experience with getting my first job, how I got my first job, any tips that I have and basically what my job was and so on and so forth. I do not still have my first job. I quit my first job like a while ago. Like a long time ago, like two years ago. Um, but I started my first job when I was in my last year of high school. And honestly, my parents were never the type of parents to be like, you need to get a job, you turn 16 or anything like that. They basically kind of said like, well, once you graduate from high school, you're gonna have to pay for your university. So think about how you're gonna do that. And so I was like, okay, Thanks mom and dad for leaving me hanging. So I was planning on getting a job in the summer and I didn't really have like a destination of where I wanted to go. The job that I got for my first job kind of landed in my lap because of my boyfriend who I was dating. His mom started working at this lingerie store and basically one night they were doing inventory. So you had to count like all the, all the items that they had in the store and in the stock room and all that. And so they asked specifically if some people could bring in family or people that they trust to come and count and do inventory with them to make the process go faster. They would pay us, etc., etc. So my boyfriend and I went and I met the, the manager and the boss and all that stuff and they were all really nice girls. And at the end of me being there, they asked me if I had any interest in getting a job there. And I was kind of like, do I have an interest? Not really, but I think I probably should get a job. And that was sort of like my thought process about getting a job. Basically, um, did an interview like any other person, although I was pretty certain I was going to get it because I already knew people who worked there and I kind of already like worked there for a night. So I was kind of confident that I would get the job um, during the interview, but I still did an interview and then I got the job and I worked there for nine months. So yeah, that's basically the background on that. Um, I've talked about a few like times mentioned that I worked at this lingerie store. It's an independent business. It's not like a Victoria's Secret or anything like that. And I really did enjoy myself working there. The only issue was that I had to work every single weekend and I didn't have a single weekend off. And then when I started school, they wanted me still to work weekends. But if you're a student, you know like that's when you get all your work done. So it didn't really work for my schedule anymore. And that's kind of why I quit in the end. I know it can be like really daunting and nerve wracking to think about getting a job and it totally is. I 100% agree. When I quit that job and started the job I have now, I was terrified to, to look for jobs. It's so upsetting because you go to all these different places and they're all like not places you really want to work but you're still like, come on, someone, please hire me, anyone. And it's not the best feeling but you have to sort of like get over yourself and that's what I did for my my second job that I have now like I just I kind of got over myself and I was like this is just a job it's not permanent it's not like defining me as a person so I guess I'll talk more in depth about the actual experience like I said I kind of had an in because I knew someone who already worked there and I, that is something I really do highly recommend like put a word out with your family and your friends that you are looking for a job and if they have any you know friends or friends of friends that can hook you up with the position because it is really hard to get your first job especially in retail like they would like you generally to have experience in retail for myself having that in was really nice so that I could work in retail and not have any prior experience that's something I highly recommend, trying to talk to your friends and family. Uh, the second thing I highly recommend is your resume is literally so important. And I say this all the time to my boyfriend when he was looking for a job too. I was like, just make sure you like literally brag the crap about yourself. Like just say all the wonderful things about you. Like it's, it's basically your opportunity to put all the best qualities about yourself on a piece of paper and do it put everything down like as long as it fits into one sheet you know what i mean so make sure your resume is actually like good and makes people want to hire you um the other thing that i think is really important is being confident in your interview and interviews are so funny because when i had my first interview i was terrified like do not get me wrong i was terrified out of my mind like shitting my pants thinking like this is probably not going to work out for me because i'm so nervous but they asked me the randomest questions and I don't know, like my second interview wasn't so much like this, but I've always had the question like, um, what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses? Usually people say something along the lines of like, 
I'm really hard on myself so sometimes you know because I'm a perfectionist I take longer to do tasks than other people or I'm more detail oriented so I get really caught up on the little details which that's like that's a good thing so um, be honest but at the same time like play to your strengths um, what are you really good at are you really good at socializing are you really good at um, numbers or something that's gonna really help you in the position my interview like I said was really random now the thing is be prepared for anything that is 100% what you have to do because when I sat down to my interview I was like, okay they're gonna ask me like my job experience which I don't really have any they might ask me about something on my resume they might ask me about like my schooling because I was in high school at the time but they didn't they asked me like what my strengths and weaknesses are where I would travel to if I could travel to anywhere right now and like what my favorite ice cream flavor was and I was like hmm and after I had my interview, they told me the reason they asked those sorts of questions is to see like how you can just think on your feet. It doesn't matter like what, how much you practice for an interview. It's really just you being able to communicate with someone that you don't really know that well and communicate well. I thought that was really interesting because I was like, they were, they were, oh, you know, chocolate chip mint. Like, I just thought it was a funny question and I kind of just like, ah, but I get it now. When I started my new job, I don't know if you guys are in high school or not, but when I first started my job, I was in high school and for some reason, I don't even remember it being a struggle. I was going to school Monday to Friday and then working Saturday, Sunday. And I honestly don't remember thinking like, this sucks, I hate my life. Like when I first started my job, I felt really independent and it was like a step toward adulthood that I was really like ready for. When you're young, you're doing these little jobs, you should, I mean, it's, I don't know, like for your first job, there should be like a, a little bit of excitement there, like a little bit of like, oh, like my, this is my first job, like if you get to dress a certain way or have a uniform, like it's kind of a nice thing. And so I think if you don't have that, you should probably, you know, try to find a different job or maybe wait a little bit until you've matured more and can like be ready for the the like adultness of having a job as for my experience working in retail which i consider my job now still retail although it's not like clothing anymore but um it's really interesting because i feel like retail is a area where you really need to be able to read customers and you really need to be able to read like what they want what they're wanting to spend what they actually want to buy um, a lot of people that I worked with would like kind of try to upsell or even at my work right now like someone asks for for those of you who don't know I work at a butcher shop so it's it's really unglamorous it's just the least glamorous job that there is someone would ask for like some ham okay get them some ham then if then some people will be like oh and do you want a salad I don't push at all I'm not a pushy person but there are certain things that I'm very passionate about and if I have had a very positive experience with something, I'm very, very likely to tell someone about that positive experience. And having that experience and being like aware of the products that you're selling makes you such a better salesperson. If you have no interest in the things that you're selling someone, you're not going to make a sale. Like it just simply isn't. Um, when I worked in retail, I wasn't on commission which I'm really thankful for because commission can really mess with you and the relationship that you have with your coworkers. And I'm not down for that. I just think that's weird. I don't really like commission as an idea. I just think it's a little bit like, it seems like a problem to me. Other than that, I think that's all I have to say about getting your first job. Be confident, um, look sharp, look nice for the job and don't go in your sweatpants. And that's basically it. I think having confidence and being sure of yourself and being able to think on your feet uh, will be your best asset and I mean if you've gone through whatever how many years of schooling if that's high school or whatever you'll be fine getting a job because high school's torture. <sighs> yeah, it was. I hope this was helpful for some of you and I know I kind of just rambled on about god knows what but I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all very soon. Bye guys!